We are Glenn and Cecilia. Welcome to our travel channel. In our last video, we tried to show you around Bali. But we ended up getting stuck on a mountain with a broken scooter. So in this vlog, we decided to play it safe and stick to our local friend who took us on a tour around beautiful Sidiman village. We hope you will enjoy this video and hopefully learn a thing or two about the Balinese way of living. So as you can see, we woke up very early and today we're gonna do a guided tour with my friend here. Mm. And we have some <laughs> customers pets with us. In the first part of the tour, our guide Newman took us to the building project nearby and explained to us that many of the locals here in Sidiman work different jobs in order to get food on the table. Be a carpenter, to be a work mm. helper, to work in the building project. Mm. Yeah, like when they had the rice plant, almost four months they get no income. Mm. Of course they have to do some other thing like work in the building like this. Yeah. Of course they could make money every day. I've been I've been working the field when my father's still alive. We work together in the field mm -hmm. every day. I know how how they do flowing to planting mm -hmm. something I know. Yeah. But like now for me, I work for my for my family. Buy them for school, our meal ceremony, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. everything I got thing from uh, tourism. Yeah. yeah. You know, like our Hindu people need flower every day for the offering ceremony. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, we offer something to the Holy Spirit, also to the God. If the, on the top is for the God, on the ground is something for the, for, for the Spirit. Oh. For the next part of the tour, we ventured deeper into the lush jungle surrounding the many rice fields. Oh, the snake fruit tree, we saw it yesterday. Oh, by the animal here. We call the skin of the fruit like skin of snake. But maybe it's still a bit, a bit younger, it's not, not ready yet. Oh, oh it's a little bit sour. Bit sour. sour. And of course, Cecilia had to test nature's boundaries. You don't push me. Yeah, the don't thing. I me. think he's just waiting to, for you yeah. to get over it. One at a time, dog. Oh, they do a lot faster than you, eh? Okay, my turn. Maybe I'll take it away for you. Hey. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time you have your food in the puddle. <laughs> <laughs> Until 1986-65, I collect this leaf yeah. every day, 200 pieces per day. And I know my mother will go market tomorrow. Mama, please help me to sell it in the market. Yeah? What do people buy it for? So something when we buy something in the market, they always pick it by this leaf. Put something here. Oh, yeah. And that special thing, uh, yeah, now since we have plastic, even we sell this leaf, nobody, so nobody want to buy. Oh. So, like before, 200 pieces mm. live like this, I could make money, but yeah. 40 rupees like before. Yeah. Of course, my mother will give me the money, I can go to school with uh, some, mm. some money. I can buy a, a bowl of green peanut soup mm. and a small candy at school. Mm. That's my experience that's when nice. I was a child. Yeah. Oh, that is, that's <laughs> beautiful though. Mm -hmm. It's Think about how ecological it is to use the leaves to wrap in stuff. Yeah. Like it says, now it's all plastic. This village about 164 family live over side there. So we got bridge to get to that place since 1989. Before 1989, people go to market, go to the town, they have to go by on foot. So they have to cross the river every day. Mm -hmm. So have have to walk in the water. So when the rain season, is, the river is flowed very often. Okay. Some people couldn't go to market. Also, students couldn't. Uh, go to school because they couldn't cross the river so mm -hmm. like before they live from their home at four o'clock in the morning if they get go to market they bring something a basket of a coconut or some fruit something what they're going to sell in the market so like before not if not so many people has torch the flashlight they use the dry coconut lid to be with the fire they do like oh, that really sure like, 
we could see from here. Oh, that's a lot of one group of the people. Oh, they come really? with the fire. If we li uh, we saw them in the morning. Oh, there's uh, a group of the people. They 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 will go to the market. These are all offerings, right? Yes. Uh, one uh, rice field belong by one farmer. That uh, any time on the full moon day, black moon day, kajang kri one day, they always offer some offering to the goddess of rice in the rice field. Oh, this is for the goddess yeah. of rice. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And there is three of them. No more probably. This is one rice field for this area and that's one for, for the next one. Ah, yeah. so every rice field yeah, has its every, own yeah. offering. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's why every one farmer community they had one rice temple. Okay. So in that temple the farmers have to make ceremony okay. twice a year. According to our Hindu Balinese calendar that 35 days in one month. That's a little bit about our agriculture in Sidaman. Okay. Newman took us further into Sidaman village and we were greeted by many friendly locals on the way. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. I'm from Denmark and Belgium. Four different countries. Yes, yeah. yes, wow. yes. We are making access to trekking. Yeah, I yeah, I yeah. see, I see. Yeah, it's perfect. It's, it's it's nice. So, what are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, ah, you're uh, like measuring, measuring. Okay, I see. Yeah. Do e easy access to the temple. Huh? Okay, okay. Look at that. Cool. Ah, still very young. Oh, almost no peanuts. Oh, yeah. that's actually still, still that's very so young. Cool, huh? yeah. No time yet. Peanut, mm. but there's no peanut yet. Still, still young plant. How many peanuts on yeah. one plant? Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe between five to ten peanuts sometimes. Five to ten. Yeah. Okay. It seems that they're more afraid of me than you. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Can, can she try? Too heavy? No. She try? Yeah, sure. You, you can. You can try. If, if it's heavy. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Yeah, I'm not gonna help you. You have to do it yourself. Come on. <laughs> is it heavy? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Get back to work. Come on. It's only two kilometers left. It's better on the head. I see why now. It's just too it's heavy. It's just not, I it's, don't think it can be. It's better because on the back, when you carry it like this, it's your back break. You know? Yeah, between 14 to 15 kilograms. Yeah. Nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah. Got a lot of work. Yeah, yeah. Heavy, heavy, yeah. heavy, heavy. You have a I strong head. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, strong head. Yeah. Yeah. I work yeah. in Patani. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Every day? Yes. Every day you do you how many times? Yeah. How many times? No. Not yeah. yeah. Oh eating. Eat, eating, eating. Yeah, yeah. But how how long yeah. per day? How long you do? Yes. Like eight eight hours? Eight hours? I have in the morning until from from morning till evening. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Strong. Strong man. Strong man. Wow. Okay. Respect. Respect. Have a good day. Yeah. See you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> See you. <laughs> bye bye. <Yeah. laughs> so normally on, on top. Was no rice field there, no water irrigation. Okay. So when the season for the rice harvest, many people from that place to come here to be uh, a rice harvester like that. Okay. So they come, they left up there yeah. before. Yes. Now uh, they all came here to. Uh, and later they will the bring rice. the rice yeah. up to their owner in the town. Okay. Okay. They did quite a lot today. 
the whole uh, square here. Oh, okay. They have to do this today. Yeah. Okay. Maybe if not finished today, tomorrow again. Yeah. Apart from providing delicious rice to Bali, Sidaman village is also known for traditional weaving. So we ended our tour in Newman's daughter's workshop. Okay. Yeah. This is the weaving. What are you making? Sarong. Sarong. Okay. Sarong. Yeah. Oh. So to make two meters, even she work eight hours a day. She mm. need time, 15 days to, to make it. 15 days? Yes. To make oh, one wow. piece for two meters long. So when she get two pieces, if she wants to make it for sarong, she has to bring it to the tiler. The sew it in the tiler yeah. to become one sarong. Yeah. So it's a very, very complicated mm. process. In the beginning, she has to bring the material to the designer people. Mm. The designer will calculate the thread, so they make design. Yeah. And this is about 2,200 thread. 2,200? Yeah. Like this? Yeah. It looks like yeah. a puzzle. Yeah. And, and how much does it sell for? Like, uh, if at completed? Home, normally at, at home, my wife sells for one sarong for two pieces like this. Okay. It costs about 1,200,000 rupees. Okay. And she has so 15 days of work yeah. for that. No, 30 days. 30? Oh, yeah, two, two, yeah, two. Yeah. Yeah. So one, one piece like that costs about 600,000 rupees. Yeah. One piece like that, something for wall decoration, for tablecloth. Yeah. But two pieces, possible to become one sarong. Yeah. Okay. The evening came upon us and we were once more exposed to the Balinese hospitality of our new friend who made us fresh fish and shared a bottle of palm wine with us. Where did it, did it come from? Is it close by? They have tuna uh, or? Some people from uh, near from Lungkung. Lungkung. Yeah. Lungkung is near from the ocean. So that's some people they, they sell uh, fresh fish around the, uh, by the scooter. So, for the first time in my life, I'm gonna eat a fish heart. Look at it, how it looks. It's quite funny. It's this brown thing and then it has a vein. Mm -hmm. So it's a tuna heart. You ready? Yeah. What does it taste like? Is it okay? It's really it's good actually. De delicacy? It's really good. It's just... It's just um, somehow finer meat. I don't know how to put it. Okay. Like a little bit chewy, but fine chewy. Thank you for watching this vlog. We hope you enjoyed beautiful cinnamon as much as we did. In our next video, we will pack our bags. So, how are you going to fix this? I need a bigger bag. Leave cinnamon behind and show you how we spent our last days in Asia. Unfortunately for me, this is not an armpit stem matter. Before moving on to a brand new continent. Woohoo! <laughs> Sorry. Thank you for watching. <laughs>